What's happening? Um, I'm right outside the gym. I'm about to do a leg workout. First one on the channel, actually. What is good, people? Today, I'm going to be doing a leg workout. I'm actually right, right outside the gym. I'm about to walk in. Um, I thought I'd just film this one. Show you my brutal leg workout, which is, a, I guess, for me, it's full of squats and stiff legged deadlifts. Anyway, without further ado, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it, if you like it, and give me some suggestions on your leg workouts if you end up doing them. Let's go! So, what's up? Before we start this session, I'm going to introduce that I'm going to be doing a story time while you watch my workout. This is going to be quite a long story, so make sure you pay attention, you tune in and enjoy the video um, as I train legs. Anyway, um, welcome back to the legendary lifestyle. Um, this story time on the legendary lifestyle, we are going to be talking about the time I called the bus um, interstate. It's about a 30 hour, it's like a day and a half, maybe two day travel. Um, I traveled by bus and I actually was on the bus with a couple of criminals. It's quite insane to be honest with you. Um, but anyway, we'll start from the last day of school. So it was actually the final day or the day before the final day of school. And I'd found out that I was going to be catching the bus to North Dakota. To be honest with you, like to be completely honest with you, I was not excited about it the day before that. But then I tried to get more optimistic about it and actually more open-minded about, you know what, this is going to be a good experience. Um, I definitely <clears throat> won't mind the experience. I've never done it before. Or open my mind, mind up to more people. Um, what the world is like, the different levels of life, etc., etc. So, essentially, um, in my mind, I'm thinking yeah you know what i'm actually more excited about this this might not be that bad if i get to chill on the bus then i can just sleep i guess i won't have to move around but i'll tell you what it wasn't as glamorous as i thought and the number one reason why is because of how i actually managed to be so like sorry i um, can explain i just been called so i had to restart that little point so yeah, as I was saying, um, essentially, um, I had just figured out that I was going to catch the bus. So on the way there, it was last day of school, I was getting more optimistic about it. Um, the reason why it was not the most glamorous experience, honestly speaking with you, was because of the amount of delays. Oh my goodness. When the bus gets delayed, it doesn't get delayed one hour doesn't get delayed two hours it get to it gets delayed at least five to six hours so if that one bus trip gets delayed five or six you have to stay the night or you have to wait so so long i originally was meant to leave um in the afternoon at about 2 3 p.m ended up leaving at 1 a.m the next day and that is because of one delay by bus just one so if i wasn't mistaken i was meant to go to missouri from atlanta to missouri and i had to wait about four hours and that was not the most glamorous experience but and to be completely honest with you i was so uncomfortable i wanted to sleep my phone was dying um and not only that actually at the atl bus stops it's very very smelly there's a lot of poor people there they're all sleeping in the bus stop you know it's very unsanitary it's not it's just not the best of conditions we don't want to be in that um, condition essentially it's not enjoyable I'll tell you that it's it definitely it's just definitely not something that you want to experience um, for a very for a long time or sleep there essentially so i was very uncomfortable i was in the seats and the chairs i had to try and keep positive i had to play music you know i actually could only use the wi-fi 
That was off at the bus stop. I mean, there's not much else I could actually utilize. So that was another issue that I had found um, that I had to deal with, which is actually very, very difficult for me. Um, and in that sense, the way that I dealt with that situation was actually playing, you know, a, a lot of calm, motivational, you know, music or motivational speakers in my ears while I was there because it was a very, very long time. You know, it wasn't something that I could just fast forward or say, you know, let me just be positive and get over it. No, I had to distract myself. I had to keep myself busy in some way. And the way that I found that was I was able to do that was essentially by actually, um, <clears throat> you know, putting my mind in a different place. And the way that I put my mind in a completely different place was by playing Eric Thomas in my earbuds, you know, not only Eric Thomas, but playing a bunch of motivational speakers, Ray Lewis. Um, I, was, I was even playing Bill Gates and Steve Jobs in my ear, earphones, you know, just listening to their philosophy, Grant Carter and Dan Locke. I was just listening to what they were saying, just repeating what they're saying in my head again and again and again and again. And it really, you know, it kept me optimistic, positive, and it, of course I got a sense of urgency to leave, but it also made me feel like, okay, I was very distracted, I was, I was very, very distracted. And you know, essentially I actually felt good about it. Um, and yeah, the point of the story coming with the criminals, knowingly that I had to be there until 1am, you know, um, there were people that were going in and out, people that were coming in and out, coming in and out, just continuously coming in and out, coming in and out. And towards the end of the night, less people were coming in and out. Actually, less people were, um, less people were coming in, um, and less people coming out. More people were coming in than they were leaving. So, two guys had come in very loud, very loud, very loud. Um, one had dreadlocks, another one was coming in and out, in and out, in and out. Just one person, one particular person. The other person came in, but was just speaking really loud. So while they were there, the guy that was speaking really loud um, was on the phone, and he was just discussing some stuff with his... Whoever was on the phone, I, I, I wasn't able to recognize them, but they were just discussing, talking, talking, talking. You know, he was just yelling really loudly, and obviously everybody could hear his conversation. Of course, though, we were trying not to. It's not like it was something that we wanted to hear. It was very distracting. People were trying to sleep. It's about 12 o'clock midnight. And <laughs> he starts yelling to that other person on the phone, like, you're lucky I wasn't there. I killed you. Oh, I want to kill you. And it was very disturbing for people to hear. It was just yelling, 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 like, oh, I would, I would kill you. This is all your fault. I would kill you. You know, saying some very bad stuff, calling, you know, cursing at this particular person. It, from my imagination, it would be a female cursing at this female and just saying, it's all because of you that I'm in this case, you know. And another person, that second person that was coming in and out, in and out, was yelling, 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 trying to sell food at the bus stops. Just trying to sell food that they got from the, from the shop, you know, just trying to sell it, sell food, sell food. And he was then talking to the guy that was on the phone, and they were complaining to each other. But what I heard was, "Um, I'm on probation. You know, I can't, I can't be here. I'm, I'm, I'm on probation. I need to leave tonight. You know, these, these people know that I'm here. I'm screwed. You know, things like that. It was a very, 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 very risky situation." And they were both laughing really loud. And essentially, I was like laughing in my own head. I was laughing. I found that very funny. But their particular bus, I think, was going to Texas. And it got delayed again until the next day, 6 o'clock in the morning. And they, they said no. So they left. They left the bus stop. They got up and gone. And I found that very funny because out of all the different types of people that I had not only met but experienced the bus ride with, not really talking but 